Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I would like to talk about PUA Windsor 2 Cape Namer AML, a detection that Microsoft Defender may display to you after the loading a certain program. It mostly refers to a software that contains potentially dangerous code, but can also be a false positive detection. In this video, I will explain what is so dangerous about it, whether it can be a false detection, and how to remove it when it is a real threat. But we begin with figuring out what Cape Namer AML is. As I've already said, it is a detection of Microsoft Defender, specifically its AI detection system. This is what the AML particle at the end goes for. Most of the time, this detection is triggered when there is a cracked software present on the disk. Alternatively, it may appear due to the Keygen tool, trainer, or a cheat engine. All of them can interfere with the files and memory of a program, and this is probably the main thing that distinguishes Camp Name or AML among others. At the same time, this detection may be a false positive, because it comes from the AI detection system. You see, it is doubtless that AI systems are the future of end-time malware software, but at this point, they still need the confirmation of the detection from other systems. When heuristics and database detection systems cannot approve or disapprove that the detection is correct, you can see the ML detection of a completely safe file. So, when Cape Name or AML points as a file or a program that you are sure is safe, you can just relax. But what if you are not sure about the program? Key dangers of such software may not be clear to ordinary users. Pirated programs, as well as key gains, cheat engines, and similar sketchy stuff, can contain malicious code, and it is barely possible to see its activity. Well, well you may see it, but at this point it will be too late. The thing must probably accomplish its task. The task may range from the loading the malware from a remote server to stealing your credentials and sending them to the hackers. That does not necessarily mean that Cape Namer in your case can do this, it is more like a be cautious warning from Microsoft Defender. However, as I've just said, it is particularly hard to see whether there is any real danger with your naked eye. This is why the second opinion is needed. To see whether you really have to worry about something or not, I recommend running a scan with Gridian Soft and Time Over. This program will make it clear whether there are any dangerous programs present in the system or not. Run a full scan, it checks all the volumes present in the system, so no threats will slip through. This may take around 10 minutes. Once the scan is complete, click Clean Out to remove all the detected items. If you see the detection of the same program, then Microsoft was right and it is really unsafe. But when nothing turns up, well, you are good to go, it was just a false positive detection. In any case, good luck and stay safe online.